Hello again, welcome to your latest weather update from the Met Office. Many of us will see temperatures creeping up a little bit over the next few days, but it will stay unsettled. Partly due to the jet stream which is running actively across the UK at the moment. As a result, low pressure is never too far away. We're going to have plenty of showers feeding through on Sunday, then a waving frontal system arriving on Monday, bringing a spell of rain for many places. But notice, because of the position of the low pressure towards the northwest of the UK, we'll be dragging our air in from the southwest. As a result, it is going to be very mild for the time of year. Take a closer look at the here and now through Saturday evening. If you're heading out for any fireworks displays, it's looking dry with clear skies for many. However, some cloud and rain towards the southeast, and this rain could turn quite heavy as we go through the early hours of Sunday morning. Also, some showers piling in from the west as we go through the night, but some clear skies ahead of this. Under these clear skies, it could turn a little chilly in some places, perhaps low single figures for some. And there may be a little bit of mist and fog around, but towards the southeast where it's staying largely cloudy and quite wet, here it is going to be a mild night. On Sunday, then, it is going to be quite a wet day across parts of southeast. We do have a warning in force, particularly across parts of Sussex and Kent. The rain's likely to be heavy and impactful, with 20 to 30 millimetres quite widely, perhaps a little bit more in some places, some difficult driving conditions here. Otherwise, and yes, there'll be some sunny spells, but also plenty of showers, and these showers could be heavy, and there's the risk of thunder too. It's also going to be blustery, especially towards the west. That's where the strongest winds will be. Temperatures are above average for the time of year, perhaps a little bit warmer than on Saturday for some places, particularly towards the southeast, getting into the mid-teens here. As we go through the end of the day on Sunday, we are going to continue to see some showers, and these showers could continue for some as we go through the evening and overnight, particularly across the English Channel, and generally they're coming in from the west, but many places will have some clear skies. However, notice a swathe of wet weather pushing across parts of Northern Ireland and later into southwest Scotland and northwest England, and then some further rain also feeding in from the southwest as we head towards dawn on Monday morning. Temperatures will take a little bit of a dip towards the east where we have some clear skies through the night, but further west staying a little bit milder because of that cloud and that wet weather that's feeding its way in. Monday then is going to be quite a wet day for many places. We're going to see that rain spilling in from the southwest, spreading to many areas. Could be heavy at times, so watch out for that, particularly as we go through Monday morning rush hour. Perhaps towards some eastern parts holding onto the drier weather for longest, but even here I am expecting it to turn cloudy and a little wet as we go through the afternoon. There is a chance of some brightness developing out towards the southwest, but sunshine is going to be fairly limited as we go through the day. However, temperatures are going to be a touch higher than we've seen over the weekend, with highs of 15 or or 16 Celsius towards the south. That is well above average for the time of year. And there's a gradual trend for temperatures to rise a little bit further as we go through the next few days. The unsettled weather is going to continue as well, however, so it is worth keeping up to date with the full forecast wherever you are on both the Met Office website, our app, and of course, our social media channels. I'll see you soon.